Yes, it's always with a great excitement to be back up again on your screens. Um, this is Let's Chat Show. Yes, you can follow us on all our social media handles, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube, you have to make sure that yeah, um, you're going to subscribe and also keep yourself updated with all our programs up on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, yes, just go on to Naventrix Media UK and also get yourself all your latest uh, news and as well as some edu educational you know, uh, tips that we'll be having uh, projected on there as well as you know all our shows as well we keep you posted in there as well same as instagram yes today we are excited we are all excited trust me to be back again um to have this chit chat with you like we always say it's always a vibe up on here and it's going to be awesome 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 as it is so over over last week we have someone send us a message and the message is going to make us discuss what uh what the person sends so this is what i'm going to do let me just go for a quick commercial break and then i'll be right back again and then we would have the 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 message and then the discussion up running stick and stay i'll be right back Addie Fashion and Beauty just launched your jewelry line called Dede's Draws. All of our drawers are uniquely handmade and picked with so much love and care, especially for you and your special event. Unique, and when I say unique, I meant unique, because you are unique. We offer custom-made drawers and wholesale services that can be requested 14 days prior to your event. Most of our designs are repeated at most twice. That is why I said you are unique. Find us on our Instagram page at Abby Addy underscore fashion underscore and underscore beauty. Our Facebook, find us on Abby Addy fashion and beauty. And you can find our stuff and purchase our stuff on our website at www.st.com slash shop slash dot abby fashion and beauty send us email for any requests comments or questions at beauty.design87 at gmail.com we are here to serve you and make that beauty come out of you by wearing our drawers you will feel beautiful and unique we are available for all your jewelry needs and more thank you for shopping with us We are back from our quick commercial break. And like I said, the show is still less chat. My name is Colbeck, and I'm doing this cursor up on the show today. And we'll be doing the discussion. Like I said, someone sent us a message. And this is what the person was asking. Should a guy be forced to marry a girl? He impregnated by mistake. This is the discussion that we'll be having up on today's show. And I'm sure we are going to have uh, all our views on this platform. What is your take? I'm sure it's also going to be a discussion in your home. What are you guys also going to talk about? Let us know. You can leave your comments also below and then tell us what you think concerning the show. And if there's anything that you also want us to add, you can be glad to also give us that information as well. And we will we'll make sure we incorporate it. So... Um, let me just give the floor up to any um, all my, my team and then use this opportunity to also welcome them. Hello, guys. Welcome to Let's Chat Show. Thank you. Yes. So we have a message. We have a really, really message, a, a, a big message on our hands. It looks like it's something that is really going on. People have really encountered this problem over and over again. People don't know what is the right solution or what is the right uh, answer to that question. But today we, we have it on, on, on our platform and we are glad to discuss it on here. It's going to help someone. So I'm sure that, yes, people are ready. They have their ears open to really know what is really happening at the moment. So the question here, the message that we have, it says, should the guy be forced to marry a girl 
he impregnated by mistake. That is what we'll be discussing. So guys, what is your take on it? First of all, let's just clarify this mistake bullshit, okay? It is not a mistake if the guy zipped his pants down and mm -hmm. put his dick into where it wasn't supposed to go. Now, he needs to know that if he's going to have one unprotected sex, then he should be ready for what's going to happen next. All right, because mm -hmm. we all know, we are all grown-ups. We are not going to beat around the bush. We know what they're doing. We know what you did. So if you got pregnant, let's just take that word mistake out and let's say impregnated should they get married. So let's just clarify that mistake thing out. Now, like I said, if it's two people, a boy and a girl, I believe in that, a boy and a girl, are in a okay. relationship and they decided upon themselves to sleep together, then they should be ready to also take the responsibility that comes with it. So okay. that is what I'm gonna say. First, let's take the mistake out. And then second, that is what my take on. Okay, how about you, Abiyadi? So, of course, I'm going to also say what uh, my sister Lydia said. Of course, it's not a mistake. And should they be forced? No, they should not be forced. I believe Lydia said a lot of that, but I'm just going to go ahead and answer the question. No, a guy should not be forced to marry a girl he impregnates mistakenly, which I don't take. I don't understand why it's a mistake. It's not a mistake, which means you call your child a mistake when the child comes out. But no, they should not be forced because sometimes you do get into a relationship and, um, you know, love is not enough. There's other things, you know, that uh, will be needed to build that relationship. So they shouldn't be forced until they are ready to, to live together and stay in marriage. Because marriage is not an easy thing. You don't want to force somebody into something they would not be committed to. So no, they should not be forced, but they should be given the opportunity to do it on their own. But it's not a mistake. Okay, thank you. Um, how about you, um, Mr. Joseph? I'm going to take you from a different angle okay. from that ladies. Um, well, I personally don't know why the word mistake was added to the question, okay? So now if they ask, should a guy be forced to marry a lady he impregnated by mistake? Then I believe that that word mistake should be looked at. Now, if you look at, uh, even in marriages, people who are already in marriages, okay? A woman, the woman could get pregnant and then they could turn it as a mistake, okay? That means there is something that is, that is actually happening over there. So, um, looking at it from my angle, I believe that if I want to have sex with somebody and I am not ready for marriage or pregnancy, then there should be a form of protection, okay? So now, once I take that caution, that, well, there should be a form of protection, whether with the use of condom or any other form of contraceptive, that means I am trying to prevent the pregnancy, okay? So, the moment you take that step to prevent it, that means you know what you are doing, you don't want it, you are not ready for it. But when that caution or prevention fails, yeah. then it becomes a mistake. So, um, from my angle, I believe that if I have, if me and the lady, we both aren't ready for a pregnancy or marriage, and we have taken a bold step to do something that could prevent it, and then that thing fails, then it becomes a mistake. So if I use a condom, the condom tears in the process, I am not even aware that it is torn, and then she gets pregnant, that becomes a mistake for me. Looking at the question with the word mistake added to it. So now that becomes a mistake for me. So now let me get back to the main question. Should I be forced to marry her when that mistake happens? To me, it's a no. Why is it a no? Probably I, am, I have not even thought about marriage in the process. That is why I'm even protecting myself. She, she has also not thought about marriage. That is why she's also trying to uh, prevent that pregnancy. Probably that is why she has taken some pills or anything to, to do away with it. So if it fails her, which most often than not it does, 
as I have conducted the research in these emergency contraceptives and all these things, and, and I have come to realize that it feels, it does feel. So when mm -hmm. it feels, then it becomes a mistake pregnancy, okay? So I don't think anybody should be forced into marrying somebody that they have not had a prior discussion of marriage or anything. So if it happens as a mistake, then you can't force that person to get married to the lady or unless, unless after the pregnancy, then the two sit down and then agree. But, but once they have not agreed, it is against their, their will. You cannot force it. Okay, so um, with, with regards to what you have said, you know, I, I did a survey, I, I had to speak to people, you know, uh, and then uh, I spoke to a couple of ladies and then some of them were like, yo, you know what, if a guy should tell me that this is what happened by mistake, then I, they should get to know that they, 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 are, they are going to be forced to marry them because they don't know who um, should also take that up because once they are all enjoying and something happens, he should also bear the responsibility and go ahead to marry them because definitely it should always, it's a love thing that makes one get to that point. It's never uh, something that maybe they just met on the street and then they wanted to do something. So uh, you, you could feel, you could feel the, ladies, uh, the ladies with, the, with what they are saying and with the, with the angle that they are coming from is that for them, if something of this nature happens, then they would, they would, they would say the guy should be forced to marry the lady. What is, what is up? In that aspect, in that aspect, before any lady would say that once a guy has impregnated me, he should be forced to marry me, then, then I, believe that, I believe that the word mistake is being taken out of the question. Once it is taken out, then you say that, that maybe the girl, the girl came with the intention of love, okay? So okay. she, she said that once I have come with love and you have impregnated me, you should marry me. But when she knows her stance and she knows that, no, this guy is not in for a relationship. I'm also not in for a relationship. We are just yeah. clicking, so let's have fun. And pregnancy comes. Some women don't even want to see you after sex with them. So where, where, where does this uh, issue of marriage come in after, after pregnancy? It, hey, um, it, let me play, I would say, the devil's advocate here. Um, I'm old school. All right. I'm very old school. And yeah. um, I believe, I believe personally, this is my personal, everybody has their opinion and everybody is entitled to the opinion. This is mine. I believe that we should, a man and a woman, a boy and a girl, whatever, high school, not in college, whatever, should wait till they get married before they do the deeds, which is before they have sex, and then have babies, all right? And the reason I see that is... 1999. Yeah, but, but see, some, some women are still doing it, though. Some women wait, so because, let me see, having kids, right? About 10%. Right? Society, yeah. society is making it seems like having kids is something luxurious, all right? Because... If you look at Instagram, you see people which they have like, let's say high heels and then they have their baby and they have makeup be, I'm not saying it's not possible for them to, you know, do that makeup. But at the end of the day, we are only looking at a picture for five seconds, right? They go through a whole lot of photo shoots before they come up with that beautiful picture. So if a kid is standing or sitting somewhere and say, oh, this is beautiful, I can do it. And then they go have the sex and the baby come, then they start struggling. You know what I'm saying? Having a kid is not uh, easy. It's like you are, you are raising um, another human. You know what I'm saying? So if you are a kid and you are raising another human being, a kid raising a kid, it's not, you know, it's not an ideal. So me personally, I just feel like if, yes, we are in two, 2020 is the millennials and, the, you know, everybody is entitled and everybody's doing what we do. You really, you know. Huh? I, I had a baby before I thought of getting, well, I had a baby, I didn't get married to my son's dad. So it's not, and I was old. I was in my almost late 20s. So it's not, it depends if you're talking to a younger person, you know, a child is probably not planned, but then once you have that child, you're like, that child becomes like a golden job for you. Yes, they're supposed to wait to 
get married and have sex and have kids. But it's impossible to do that. Not because of the modern age, because sometimes you get into a relationship and you're in love and then you do the do and then it happens. But it's not like you plan it and it's not like, you know, I understand what you're saying, but. Right? No, what I'm saying is, look, if you are in love, right, and a kid comes in, it's a different mindset. If let's say you are in love, everything is going good and the kids come in. Yes, the relationship might not work. Yes, it might work, right? You have a different mindset than somebody who just, you know, went into it and say, hey, let's do it. And they're not even sure if they love each other and then they got pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So if you pick somebody who is in love deeply with a, with a man that they are with mm -hmm. and they might not love, the, I, I, when the baby comes and maybe breakups is going to come in, they might not, you know, be like, okay, thank God I'm not with you because I wouldn't have had, I've heard this before where they say, oh, I'm glad I didn't, you know, raise my kid with you or we didn't stay together to raise this kid. It happens. If, and rather than somebody who is not in love, you know, because a lot of argument comes in. And I'm not saying that arguments doesn't come if you are married, but the argue, I mean, if you are in love, the arguments that comes if you are in love is different from somebody who say, oh, like um, I think Quebec or um, Joseph was saying that, oh, um, a lady just, you know, I mean, it was Quebec saying that he interviews a lot of ladies and the ladies were saying, oh, um, if a guy has sex with me, then they're, they're supposed to marry me. See, that is different from somebody who is in love with a man, meaning you are in a relationship, you've talked, you've done what you're supposed to do. Yeah. To so yeah. When even, in, go ahead. No, Lydia, what I'm saying, yes, even though you could be in love, but still doesn't mean I, that you want to marry the person. You could have the kid no, with a person, doesn't mean that you're ready to go ahead and get married to them. You get it? Because marriage is a whole different thing. You see a different side of the person. When... Sorry, were you saying something? Uh, so talking from my point of view, yeah, talking from my point of view, I, I, I believe um, from what Lydia is saying, yeah, she, she's trying to do away with um, the word mistake in the question. And I'm saying so because she has taken the whole concept of the question as, as uh, people in a relationship, okay? Now, in, in this age that we are in now, People don't have sex because they are in love. It could be anything. They could just meet and then they will have sex. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so imagine like the, 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 the result becomes a pregnancy or whatever you do results uh, in a pregnancy. Do you, do you think they should be forced to get married? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm thinking, but if you say they are, they are in a relationship, of course, then they could say that, well, then, yes. A yeah. relationship. In a relationship, they could, yes. But, but in a case whereby they are not in a relationship, that is where this question comes in. And that is where the word mistake could be added to it. Because, you know, you know even in marriage, even in marriage, a, a woman could get pregnant and the husband will tell her, I don't want this baby, go and abort it. And you have nothing to do. He says it's a mistake. You should go and abort it. Okay, so if we take it, mm -hmm. that's same we are going to take it from people in love, then we are going to get the whole question wrong. Like we shouldn't, if we try to focus on one side, but we should try to pick it from how, how what happens maybe they are not in a, even in a relationship because the question is still that. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so, so I want to ask this question. Knowing perfectly well that um, using, using contraceptive is not 100%. Mm -hmm. And then you know that, okay, me going in there is going to result in this kind of problem at the end of the day. Should, then that is where the mistake comes in. You know perfectly well there can be a mistake. Why, why, why do you still go in there? That, that is my worry. You going why what, to the relationship or into what? For sex. No, no in making in for the sex. sex. Why do you want to go in there? Because, oh, come on. Yes. Well, I, I, as, think, I think you think that after the fact. You never think of that when you're in the, in, in, into the act of it. You don't think about that until mm -hmm. it happens. Like, oh, this happened. But I don't think that before you go and you have to put it, nobody sits down and plan and say, what if, what if? <laughs> Just go and do it. You know, yeah. if we, you have to sit down and plan it, it it's, it's going to be hard for some guys because they know this guy's about to give a whole speech about what if, what if. Right. No, but I don't think people think of that. 
they just go ahead and do it. And after it happens, that's when they think of, oh, we should have done this, we should have done Or maybe I did it, or maybe I should have done this. So I, I think that is more, that is not something that you can actually predict before it happens. Yeah. So uh, you get it? I, have, yeah. I have been faced with this um, question or scenario before, whereby a virgin actually got pregnant. Okay, uh, how did that come? To okay, so the guy actually wanted sex, but the lady said she, she, she wasn't ready for that. And so this is what happened. So they agreed, they actually agreed on dry hump, okay? Now, they knew that it was just dry hump and there was no uh, penetration and so they should have sex. But then at the end, the lady got pregnant and the reason, the, the, the guy Yes. yes. So, so there was actually a pre cam which got her pregnant. And they First are not aware. Explain, explain dry humping. Yeah, explain that. Oh. <laughs> so well, dry okay. humping. It's actually like they are they are they are not undressed. Okay, they are not un undressed. <laughs> Dry them because they're not but, dressed. Okay, but but in this unless scenario, the lady went to do somewhere and came back to them. <laughs> no, in the scenario that I am given, <laughs> in the scenario that I am given, the, the guy was actually like, okay, my man, my man found brush in the room, so he brushed it and then no oh, penetration. Oh man, when lucky. Uh -huh. <laughs> in, this, in this case, they were the guy was even denying. Okay. Because he knows I have not penetrated you, so how come you are pregnant for me? So now this becomes a mistake. And from a guy's point of view, if you force me to marry such a lady, I will say no, because I didn't penetrate her. Oh, but you brushed. But you brushed. <laughs> you should, nobody asked you to brush. As, as in you no, brushed as in your finger or you you... So, so this, is, this is some of the reasons why a guy will even stand against marrying a lady that gets pregnant mistakenly especially now in, yeah. now in a case whereby you use a condom the guy uses a condom and after whatever you do you realize that the semen is still in the condom but the lady mm -hmm. gets pregnant forgetting the fact that it could have a slight okay it could have a slight the condom could have a slight so because the guy has seen that my semen is still in the condom he will definitely and easily deny it. And he will stand against marrying the lady. Okay. That, so that, that, this that, that brings me to, to that point. That is my question. You know, you see, the thing is, uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not trying to, to, to make it so stiff for, for, for myself or for the question that I'm asking. Like Lydia is going to say, she's old school. So, okay, fine. You, you, you take me, for example, and then, I, I go in there, I know in my head, I don't love this lady, you understand. And I know say, there are complications behind, you know, using contraceptives, anything can happen. But then yes, so I want to go in there. And now I'm coming back to tell you guys that I didn't have a choir and it's by mistake. Like how, how, how is it possible? That is what I don't get because I should know. That, that, is, that is my, my, my you know, my uh, confusion on this whole matter. I feel like you should know that there is going to be a baby after, or you should know that there can um, uh, something happen to the condom, or you should know with the question oh, yeah. and has questions on top of that. So you need to clarify that a little bit. What are you, okay. what are you, you should know. Okay. So when I, when I say you should know um, every, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, okay, let me just. I think Kobe is advocating for, Total abstinence. I, is, that, is that where you are coming from? Well, that, I'm, I'm coming from that angle. I think I'm coming, I'm really coming mm -hmm. from that angle because be a straight, like, shooter. Be a straight shooter. Just go ahead. Be a straight shooter. If that is what you mean, just say it. Hey, like I said, everybody's no. entitled to the opinion. So I told you I'm, I'm, I'm old school. I will rather wait and get, mm -hmm. although, like I said, I'd rather wait. I'm old school. I didn't. Um, but I waited for a long time, okay? Mm -hmm. I, wa I waited till I was 26, okay? So I would say that you can wait if you can, 
just wait because like i said nobody wants the oops you know but if the oops happen it's a blessing you know what i'm saying the way to go by to get the blessing might not be the right way but at the end of the day if it happened if the oops comes in then it's a blessing you know what i'm saying so if that is what you are saying that yeah. oh everybody should stay away then just go ahead you know you are advising people but at the same time uh should somebody be forced to get married because a blessing came in so can we just put it that way i'm going to put it that way that the baby is a blessing it's not a mistake so okay okay so now I just look at this case study. Um, there's this uh, nurse, uh, she, 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 she works in a hospital. So she was sharing her story and then she said, okay, you know what guys, um, I met this guy, he was from the United States of America. He was from Maryland, he came to Ghana. We, we, we got talking, you know, one thing led to another. You know, we, we, we had that chemistry between the two of us. You get what I'm saying, that's what she was saying. And then she said that she was in there in that relationship. They, they made love. And this time on, there was this particular time that they made love and she was not really expecting a baby. But then it happened. You, you get what I'm saying? According to her, she was like, oh, this thing that I was doing, I was not really you know, thinking was going to happen because even after I noticed I was pregnant, I was trying to do everything I can to just flash it out. Mm -hmm. You get the whole thing. And now... She, she was being advised that, listen, you can't, like, she tried to flash it out, flash it out, but the baby was, I don't know, it, it was God sent. I don't know if it was Noah or it was uh, Jonah or whatever. I don't know. The, the baby did not. Oh, yeah. wow. So she finally, she finally got to a point, she gave birth to this lady. But then the question here is, the guy that, I, I'm just wondering in my head, the guy that told you, I love you, to even take you to that point, to make love to you, that's the one who married a girl. I don't get it. So that, that is my point. So wh where is the mistake coming from? If, if you know you're not ready, like you said, uh, it's best well, to abstain. That guy's an asshole, first of all, because you cannot promise love and move all the way from another country to another country and then exactly. impregnate a girl and say you don't love her. Like, that's, yeah, that's BS. That, hey. Someone like that, you got to force them to marry. Exactly, ma'am. Because if you follow this kind of story, if you, if you do a... If like you research to this kind of stories that we are having here, you would see that. Did, did, did he say he wasn't in love, or he say he wasn't ready? Which one? Well, according to the lady, he was like, the guy does not want but to get married. He, he, he doesn't to want to get married yet, or that was no, she doesn't want to get married to her. Want, he does not want the lady in question, like to get married. As in, oh. in fact, in fact, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not going to work out. But then he's going to take the responsibility of the child. You know, sometimes. Okay, when, okay so he's going to when, take responsibility. When, when, when these things happen, you need the intervention of an angel, okay? So, you know, <laughs> the, the, this, yeah. case of, this case of men uh, uh, opting out of marriage because of a pregnancy, not starting from today. It started way back from the story of Mary and Joseph, okay? Mm -hmm. And an angel had to intervene before yeah. the man. Okay, I'll marry her. I'll take her as my wife. But anything other than that, for a man to say that uh, we are just we are just having fun and you are pregnant, and then he will say, "I'll get married. I'll marry you." These things that are not so common. Okay, unless unless this very traditional, whereby once the lady gets pregnant, the mother notices that she is pregnant, they ask her who impregnated you, and mm -hmm. then. They take her to the man's house. Those, those days, they were forced to. They were forced to. And I, I don't believe that as it has done the, 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 both the parties involved any good. And so now, if you are being posed with this question, should a guy be forced to marry the lady because she is pregnant for him, mistakenly? The, the answer still remains no. No, yeah. But Still okay. No, depending on the situation. Yeah. yeah. So let me just go for a quick commercial break and then I will be right back. And if you're enjoying the show, this is Let's Chat. My name is Kobeck and I'm doing this with um, Abiyadi. I'm doing this with Lydia and I'm doing this with Joseph. I will be right back. Stick and stay. <laughs>
Yes, we are right back from our quick commercial break and we are still uh, tuning in to Let's Chat Show. My name is Cole Beck and I'm, like I said, I'm doing this with my team. The show has been powered by Naventrix Media UK and you can also follow us on, on Facebook, Naventrix Media UK. Go up there, like our pages and then keep supporting, share with your friends, let them know what is really happening on the Naventrix Media UK page. As well as if you go on um, YouTube, you can also go there and subscribe and also get in touch and keep yourself updated with all, all our programs. Just go in there, catch some fun in there. But today, it is all about Let's Chat Show. Like we always say, it's always a vibe here. Yeah? And always we, a vibe. Yes, always a vibe. We are having that discussion. And then, like I said, there, there's an issue at hand. Should a guy be forced to marry a lady that um, he got uh, her pregnant? You know, should, should he be forced by mistake? That is what the, the message says. And that is what we are discussing up here on this show. So yes, I have my uh, my Abiyadi here, I have Joseph here, and I have Lydia here. So yes, we're having that discussion behind closed doors before we, we went for that quick commercial break. And so we are back. We're going to continue that discussion again. Um, I wanted to know something. Don't you think that sometimes ladies can also force these things to make it look like a mistake? When maybe oh, hands be... Oh, wait. No, sorry. I didn't know it well. What, what was your question? I was saying that, that, don't you think that sometimes ladies can also force these things, like, you know, the, 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 the sex that they had to make it a uh, pregnancy and, and, and make it look like it's a mistake? Knowing yeah. well that they know what they want from the back. It's still using a word mistake in that. That's why I'm, like, a little bit um, confused, but no. no. Like to the guy, maybe he didn't plan it, but then the lady can take him there. If the, if the lady tries to get pregnant, then it's not a mistake. The lady is, it's not a mistake because the lady wants it. So don't say mm -hmm. mistake. So okay. I, this but, question that I've just put out is a very common form of pregnancy out there. Okay. So imagine mm -hmm. you are that type of guy who has reached a certain level in life. Okay. And then you meet a lady. She obviously wants to keep you. Okay. So now if you go, if you try to have sex with her, she's not going to stop you. She will do it and then anything that happens she's going to say that she's yeah. pregnant for you you could say anything you could try to deny it the next time you see she's come her, um, with her family to your house and the family will tell you that in our house no lady gets pregnant without a husband they will force mm -hmm. you to marry exactly. and this is what is happening. it is happening it is happening a lot of times okay because the guy has that level now if you have sex with a, a lady and uh, you uh, and like i said she could if she had maybe she had already had sex with somebody else but that guy is nothing to write home about and so she would then come to you and say that you are responsible for her pregnancy you can exactly. you can the money to go and abort it you can do movies, it. Man. she's still yeah really as a it's sabotage. Really a lot of ladies are using that as a sabotage. And that is why the guys feel that I am not, if I say I am, I am not. Me, if I say I'm not, I am not. See, that is why a lot of um, guys in that situation um, cheat a lot. Because first of all, they had the sex and the baby came, but they don't want to marry the girl. And the girl comes back with a whole family and say, hey, you got to marry me, you got to marry me. And then they do get married. First of all, he does not love her, okay? Mm -hmm. So once they get into the marriage and then he goes out and sees somebody that is his mm -hmm. type, that's why they go behind their wives and they cheat and, you know, the arguments start and you did this and you did this and you did this. And at the end of the day, is the kid that goes through that trauma. Yeah, because it didn't be that impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You did, yeah. The, the kid didn't ask to be in the situation. You did what you got to do <laughs> and now I'm, I'm, I'm facing it. So yeah. it, 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 it's, it's, it's iffy. It's, it's, it's some way. It's some way. It's just that um, we should just learn to you know, okay, we got pregnant, you do you, I will do me, we are not ready to get married, if it happens, glory be to God, but if it doesn't, you do you, I'll do me, take care of your responsibility, and we are good to go, all mm -hmm. right? 
yeah. is if I am to um, have a kid with a guy that I'm not, or we are not going to get married, all I'm asking from him is just take care of your responsibility. You don't have to see me. You don't have to talk to me. Just take care of your responsibility and we are good. That's all that I will ask, but I'm not going to clarify it or say that it's a mistake because uh, we had sex and the baby mm -hmm. came in and mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. So I, I don't think that people should be forced to um, get married because of the family name to, mm -hmm. to have the family and say, oh, you know this family, we are here, we stand for this. And, and it, it happens in Ghanaian homes a lot where they have a certain limit, like the family. I know my family does it. I'm not even going to lie. My parents, I guess that was why it put the fear in us not to have sex, um, that they were like, oh, you come from the Opon family. So, you know, you're not supposed to, you know, and they, in, in, you know, the words they use, they use disgrace. You, you don't have to disgrace us. You know what I'm saying? Say it again. So it's like, yeah, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm good, but I'm not yeah. going to marry yeah. somebody yeah. because of the family name and we have sex and the yeah. baby. And, uh -huh. I'm not going to do that. What did you then say? Again, I, then you again, I think that. I did yeah. have a lot to say, but they're taking the words out of my mouth, so. But. Okay, then just if you're listening. I have spoken for the guys about the ladies sabotaging them, forcefully marry them. No, we don't sabotage you guys. But, Thank you. I don't think the ladies do that. However, like you said, if the guy is in the standard that the girl wants, I don't think any. I think it, I don't think I think to me I've seen that in movies. I've never heard that in real life that a girl sabotage a guy, you know, for pregnancy. I yeah. think in movies, Ooh. yeah, but I don't think no, a girl just. I be it happens, and and the reason I say it happens, um, it doesn't happen to I would say regular people in cults. I'm putting air quotes. Well, yeah, maybe celebrities. Yeah. It, yes, where they use the um, turkey baster. So what happens is they go to the hotels like the athletes. You see, mm -hmm. they leave and they go to the, and then they do it. And then they have side checks over there. So mm -hmm. when the side check wants to make money, and recently that was what they were talking about, Drake. Um, having the kid, Drake, they said the girl went there and then they did it and Drake was denying that um, the baby wasn't his because he did the right thing and mm -hmm. so he had to think that the baby is his. But later, somebody, a friend of the girl, so it's like a friend friend that the girl confided in because I think she it. also wants money. Because she mm -hmm. also wants money, she came back and um, told the media that oh the girl is lying she kept the condom after everything was done and then sucked the sperm out and in injected inserted in herself so if they ew, are how would you even want to do that who was uh, a sperm they come ill ill well see what happens is, um, when when they are supposed to throw away the condoms they don't throw away the condom. they keep mm -hmm. it so, and then they flash it like, oh yeah, I, I, I threw it away for you. And yeah, so it happens to, I would say that up over here people, but um, regular people. Uh, it, it, it still happens. It still happens. First of all, we are guys who did a very, that is, for that you to touch scary. somebody's condom. Oh that, that is scary because you, you had a condom on. Afterwards, right. you should be, it belongs to you. You should take care yeah, of it. Yeah, so you shoot it out and flash it. You're gross. First of all, to not to leave it. Ew. Ew. Wait, first of all, you saying ill to that. We are about to derail this whole conversation, but we will leave it. Oh, for yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. We will leave it for another Let's time. go back to it. <laughs> yeah, we, we are gonna don't say ill. We are gonna go back. You see, that will be our next topic. Let's go back to the question. Yeah, because it's so, just disgusting to me. <laughs> That would be a whole new conversation. <laughs> but so uh, to take it from another angle on the part of the ladies, I, I think that for any lady to come down to have sex, mostly you have said something to her ears, and it makes a lot of sense to her. She feels uh, you are in a relationship. Now, 
uh, I do speak to ladies and I tell them, when a guy comes and he tells you that he loves you, ask him to define his terms of love. Mostly, he is just there. This is after the sex or before the sex? Before. And you think a guy is going to be honest and exactly. real to you? Exactly. If you ask him and he still says, I love you, I want to do this for you, then you can use his own words against him. But if you just... But even if you use it, it doesn't change nothing. It does change something. No, it does not. If a guy doesn't want you, they don't want you. You know, but, you know, you know your words, uh, words, words are always dangerous. You can be made with your words or, or made with your words. So if you promise me, if you like promise me some dollars No, no, listen, I'm Joseph, Quebec said, no, Quebec said this earlier, where the guy traveled to go see the girl. Yes, the girl, and still, still has not been everything. Exactly. Had his, had his way, and still you has know? like. No, uh, Joseph, <laughs> the guy wants the sex. They will do what, and like I said, they will. They can even lie on the floor for you to walk on them. But mm -hmm. once they get it, that's it. You that's just, it. You know, if you get a responsible man, if you get a responsible man, and tells you, "Oh, I love you," whatever, and then the baby comes in and he says, "You know what? I love you, but I don't want to marry you." And there are situations like that where a man can love a woman and the baby will come in, but they don't want to get in um, a yeah. marital situation. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. then they just take care of their responsibility, and that's it. That's all they want. Yeah, that's, that's all they want. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's if you get a responsible man but then if you don't that's when you have to do the run around run around run around and then it will be like okay now the girl's family is forcing her onto you for you to get married too so the only usually the other way that that happens is when um maybe your your parents or know about the guy right and they're telling you do not be with this person this person's not good for you da, 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 and then they get pregnant and that's when they also push you know when your parents gets when the guy's story gets involved it's when they also don't want that oh you know you had a, ch a child out of wedlock and all that that's also depends on the family that you're coming from you come from that house that don't believe in that that's when they force you to do that especially if they don't agree with your relationship with a girl and all that but yeah. I, I i don't believe that a, a guy would give you all the goody goody good good have sex with you and then say oh they said it oh please that's that's now nah. a guy would say anything to get into your pants after yeah. they're done, they'll reverse it. If they said like, oh, oh, I don't remember. No, you guys lie. You know, you know this, um, you know this saying that they say um, words are like air. I mean, this guy was saying it. Words are like air. Once you speak it, it's in the air. It's gone. It's, it's not a written statement. It's not mm -hmm. a written agreement. Okay, unless unless you're trying to tell me that um, the guy took a pen and a paper. And wrote down, oh, I love you, baby. Oh, this, oh I, I, I just, I'll let you write it, sign a contract and everything. I signed a contract. After you write it, then I'll show it to you. You wrote it. Or record it with your voice. Let record it. Let it exactly. be my I'll always refer you to it. If, what, what, make, you what makes this whole when, issue? When, when people are in love. Very interesting, right? They behave, yes. behave differently. Okay. Uh, some ladies, when you tell them, I love you. They are going to come down. They'll do everything for you. Be there are some ladies where you tell them I love you. Because she's just love the you tell you love them. <laughs> you say you, you love tell them. me. You love me. <laughs> I will cook for you. I will clean for you. I will do whatever I you want. I even do all that before you even tell me. Because it's just me. I'm just nice like that. But Oh, okay. No. Because if I'm eating, I'm you have to eat. <laughs> so I can't cook. <laughs> I can't cook and say, you know, I'm not going to cook. For you, but if I'm cooking and you have food and you come around, yeah, I'll give you food. But right. I think that I think that's normal for you to do if you're in a relationship, not because yeah. not be, not because you know you want the guy to say you can do it, but it's just nice to go to your man's house and you see something dirty and not go in and leave. Like, so when he marries you, are you going to be that person? You know, sometimes it's just a conscience of a person, and if that's how you are, I'm a cancer. We are just nice. We do everything for our man. Like exactly. So, do anything for you. 
And then when it doesn't work, if it doesn't work out, it's more like, you know what? I don't regret what I did. Cause at least mm -hmm. he knows what he lost, you know? So, right. yeah. What makes this whole um, um, issue very interesting is that, you know, the, the, the message in here did not state that he went to a club and then he met maybe a prostitute. This no. is asking a question that uh, he, it, must he be forced to marry a lady that he impregnated by mistake? It tells you that this is a relationship that he has built over time. Right. Because for, 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 her, um, for, for him to take that woman to that point, then there must be uh, an I love you communication. I'm going to be whatever, you know what I mean? I'm not sure that um, he, he's, he's, he's a newbie to this. So let's say approximately if, if it's just even like a two-month relationship, maybe they, they might have had sex over and over and over again. But it's just rather unfortunately, maybe this time around, it did not go as it was planned. Maybe that is why he put a mistake there. My issue here is he, I'm, I'm sure he knows perfectly well that, listen, this would happen. Just as Joseph was saying, contraceptives are not 100% sure. He knows it's going to happen. So why is he not man enough to say, okay, fine, because I love you already, because I said it before I took you there. So why can't I just marry you easily like that? Why is it not possible? To marry? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm married, okay. And um, marriage itself is like in the Bible is what God has ordained. All right, yeah. for Anna. Okay. And in the Bible, it says that the only way a man can leave the wife is if the man goes behind the wives, which means co um, commit adultery, sleep, sleep with other. That okay. is the only way you can divorce your husband. Right? Also, when it, it's going to lead to death, when something like killing. Yeah. Right, right. So, my thing is if you put that question out there, and the man forced and get into the relationship. Mm -hmm. Right now, they would have to divorce, okay? Because I, I love you came in, it's a period of time, we did it over and over and over, and this last time the baby came in, and now um, why can't I marry you because I love you and we've been together for a while. Um, like I stated before that the process to get the blessing is wrong, all right? But once the blessing comes in, it's your responsibility, regardless what it is. You can love me for five years. You can love me for 10 years. You can love me for one month, two weeks, a week. But if a blessing comes in, mm. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna force you to marry me because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if I'm being forced to marry you and I do marry you, which is the guy marries the girl and they get to the relationship and he cheats, it's a bigger sin on him that he is causing on the blessing that God has blessed them with. Although the process is wrong, but once the blessing comes in, it's a blessing. So if I'm being forced, if the guy is being forced to marry this girl that he impregnated and they are now going to marry. Let me tell you, God gives us the blessing, which is the baby. God also, you see, the man is the head of the house. Once God curses the man, it goes down to the wife and to the kids. You know what I'm saying? So... Okay. For a man to be forced to marry a woman and at the end go behind the woman's back and cheat is mm -hmm. yeah, it's, know, much worse. Curse, right? it's a curse you are causing upon your wife and your innocent child. It's an alacrity. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Lee has said it all, which is true, because now the wife asks herself, no, okay, no, so if you didn't love me, why did you get married to me? And, you know, cause so much pain to somebody. I, I have a question. I have a question for Lydia. Okay. You are married and I'm married too. We are all married people, right? Okay, okay good. I want, to ask, I want to ask this question. When, when, when you set out with your, with your husband, like your now husband, what was right. the plan? I'm sure the plan was that you guys want to get to know each other and then get to uh, get to marry at the end of the day, right? 
Yeah, see, my fitness, and I've told you before, I'm old school. So when I met, when my husband and I met, we dated. And then in the first May, I have a three month rule. We dated for three months. Okay. Then the next question that came was, what is this about? What is the relationship about? I've already given you three months. It's enough. Now I need to know where it's going to go. If it's going to go somewhere, then I'm willing to stay in and work and fight for it. If it's not, I'll see you later in, the, in my next life. So we had yeah. that conversation. And when, I, when he came back and told me, okay, this is my plan. I want to marry you and I want to move forward. And the next discussion was, he asked me if I want kids. If you, my life before, I've always, Abby knows it, I did not want kids. Let me tell you. I want to have fun. I want to do the deeds, but not take the responsibility for it. That is me. I don't know about anybody else. I'm speaking for me. And now so, she has to go. And every day I ask myself, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It's true. That is where, okay, I'm coming to that. All right. So he asked me that, do I want kids? And I said, it's to be answered later right? I didn't give him an answer right away. I went and I thought about it. Do I want kids or do I want not kids? How long am I going to have this fun for? You know, how long am I going to have this fun for? How long am I going to be in the world trying to conquer the world that I thought, you know? And when I came to the point where I said, okay, you know what? I want kids. I didn't know that I would be having four kids. But one thing I would say is, it's, that is what it happens. I say that um, it's a lot of work, but at the end of the day, I am so happy and blessed that I've been able to have these four kids. They come from one woman, but they are different. You know, they are different kids. And it's a blessing that God has given yes. me. And it's a blessing for women when we are able to have kids. Yes. Because some women have it. Kids. Some women can I know somebody personally for 20 years they don't have one. I've been married for so you don't years. have one and call it a mistake. Exactly. No so, so you, you see that that is that is my point. That is the, the point that I'm about to draw in for Lydia. Because I am sure that you want to move with someone, uh, someone that you have said you love. You are trying to get to know them. You are trying to move with them. So why is it that it's so difficult for you to, you know, accept your own seed going into her? That makes it a pregnancy. And then you would say that it's a mistake because I'm sure you just, you just did not meet her just by the street and then you just wanted to make love with her. There has been a, a bit of communication. Have you, have you heard this question? And it comes from guys that... And I was told this, personally, I was told this from the guy that I was dating, that I was a wifey material, I wasn't a girlfriend material. So this guy wanted me to wait for him, right? For him to go do his stupid thing and come back and marry me. You see, you see where I'm going? So which means he's going to have the sex with all these people. So, so even he's if, my salary. Yes, even if he gets somebody pregnant. He still want to come back to me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's sometimes you are in a relationship. You just want it to be a relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to be a marriage because marriage is a lot. See, there are two things, two main things in marriage. I believe three main things in marriage. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness, understanding, and communication. The person that would offend you the most is your husband or your wife. Nobody else. They are the ones that will offend you the most. So is some people, some people wants to get in a relationship, but they don't want the marriage part. They don't want that title. Okay. So yeah. if, if a guy has been with you, like I said, for five years and everything is going good and a baby comes in, maybe have the, the other question is maybe have you asked the guy do you want kids because some guy wants to be in a relationship and they don't want to have kids they don't want kids so in this case when the kid come in and you are telling him to marry you now is a whole new person you are dealing with meanwhile you've been with this person for five years 
You know what I'm saying? So, so that was that was what it, I spoke about. Letting the man define his terms for coming. Yeah, but that's not for only for two months, though. I'm talking about if you've been with a person for... Let me tell you, Joseph. If a woman is with a guy for five years, okay, and or for one year, and the man is lying to the woman, she will know. Trust me. The woman will know that, hey, this guy is stringing me along, and I'm also going to play the game until the blessing comes in and it's a whole new ball game. All right? How, how, how true is it, it Abiyadi? That a man, a man can can lie to you in five years. How true is that? Yeah. <laughs> Guys lie, and it's very easy. Like she said, it's very easy. Like if I'm talking to somebody right today, I I already know where we'll lead to. I okay. already know if it's going to lead to marriage, if it's going to lead, if it's just a relationship, or it's just a friendship. I already know. I think women know how a relationship is going to end up. It. Honestly, we just know. Because when a guy is being truthful, you can tell from the reactions. Their actions. A guy cannot be like, well, a guy will say one thing by do but do something else. So if you're able, if you're a good woman and you're able to read that, it's very easy for you to catch that that this person is just all the, the person is saying it are all lies. And I've had friends who have been through that. So I'm able to like like tell, like they'll tell when a guy a, a girl comes or a friend comes and say, Charlie, yes. So this guy is this and this and tell you the story. From the story that a girl, uh, the girl is saying, you could already advise and say, you know what, MCCDB, it's not going to get anywhere. So just, but then because you're so in love, like, oh yeah, I believe, I believe. And then after it happened, you're like, oh, what you said was true. But you can already tell by the actions of the guy that either they're lying. I don't know how long you can stay for life for five years. That's too long. To me, I can detect within a week or two. No, I don't waste time. But then- okay. For five years it's free, but you can it's easy to tell because what they say what they say is one thing and how they what do we act how do we act to is another thing so you know by that so so can we can we can we say in this message that uh could it be that maybe the guy just gave the lady an empty promise because since it's now adding a mistake as upon let's say i love you and well well your question doesn't specify if they're in a relationship or not so the only thing is, if the guy is forced, the question is, is the girl also forced or is the girl also waiting for the guy to say yes? So I can't really say, you know, per se, but to me, there shouldn't be, nobody should be forced to be, to be in, a, in a marriage because you don't want to get married and then make the lady miserable because you're cheating on her because you don't love her and then you have kids who are, it's just like, because when the things are bad at home, the kids know. And who affects them, they know when things are bad. They will be miserable. And they go to school, and that's when people ask, you know, teachers could tell that they're not actually focusing in school. So, no, nobody should be forced to get married unless they are willing to do it, unless it's a relationship. But if it's just a hit and run and you get pregnant, nobody should force you to get married to nobody. You don't want to be unhappy. Okay, thank you so much. I'll come back to you for, for, for your last words. Let me just go to Joseph. Um, Joseph, on this whole issue today, should a guy be forced to marry a lady being impregnated by mistake? What is your advice um, that you want to put out there for people that are in similar situations? And an and advice also for, for, the, for the person that also sent us this message. What, what do you think is, is the right way in your own, in your own terms? I think I, I still stand by my point mm -hmm. that it's a no. Now, if somebody is going to get forced, it means parents or maybe the guy or parents or the girl is the one doing the forcing. It's always a third party. So if you are going to force me to take something against my will, then in the next year or so we are going to sit down to deal with domestic violence. Because it's not going to be happy, and I'm not going to be happy. One of us will be hurt in the end. It's a no. Okay, so let me let me come to Lydia. Lydia, what is your um, final submission on this issue? What advice do you have for people that are facing this um, whole, um, you know, this they are into this whole message thing? Um, like Joseph said, it's a no. And um, if you are being forced to marry somebody, um, meaning you are being, um, it's against your own will, you don't have a choice. So I would say before you really um, 
get into relationship, before you do the I love you, I love you, understand those words that are coming out of your mouth. Understand the love. Understand mm -hmm. that love is a commitment itself, that word, you know, and things happen. And if it do happen, you shouldn't clarify it as a mistake. Because at the end of the day, you don't know what that mistake is going to grow up to be. So just um, be careful. Number one, be careful. But if it do happen, embrace it. It's not going to be easy. But at the end of the day, it takes a village to raise a kid. You know what I'm saying? So just um, have a conversation with a man. Make sure the man is doing his uh, duty his responsibility, taking responsibility, and then just move on. If he doesn't want to marry you, don't force marriage on somebody, like Joseph said, that is going to be domestic violence at the end of the day, and somebody is going to be going to jail, or somebody is going to be, you know, dead in, in, in the years to come. So just be careful. If it happens, have a conversation, and just move on. Don't, don't be forced into marriage and you know, all that jazz, don't, don't, don't do that. It's, it's not good. It's not healthy for you and it's not going to be healthy for your baby. So. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your, for your submission as well. Abiyadi, what do you have to say? So to the person that brought this question, I'm sorry that you're going through this. I just want to know if you are in a relationship with this person, please, you're in a relationship. If you're scared to get married because you don't know financially stable or whatever it is, just, you don't need to have money to get married. Just go ahead and get married to the girl. If you have been together for so long and you truly love her, but you're just making this decision or your parents are forcing because you're not ready financially. But if you are, and it was just, if you're, if you're not, it was just a hit and run. Please don't force yourself. You have to build a relationship with this person. At least try to get to know each other, know yourself, develop that love, that friendship, okay? And go ahead and get married to this person after because you don't want to be miserable. You don't want the kids to be miserable. But remember, do not use that word mistake because this child could grow up to be a LeBron James, like all these people that I celebrate that I hear that are taking care of single mom because their dad was not there. This child could grow up to be somebody to help you in the future. So please, if this child, if, if this lady, you don't know her, get to know her. But please, next time try to use protection, okay? We have protection out there to save us from stuff like this. If not, just pull out. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for your submissions. Yes, I'm sure it's really, really going to educate someone, um, people that are, you know, not only people that are into this, people that who I'm sure have friends that also have issues of this nature. They're going to be educated as well and also be informed. Like I always say, it's always good to be sure. It's always good to uh, update yourself about things that is happening. You know what you want as a person. You know what is best for you. So don't settle for less. You know what I mean? If this kind of things are really going to happen, you know, someone coming into your life, telling you all sort of things, wasting your time, man, you need to just, you know, sit yourself down and then, you know, ask yourself some few questions, you know, and then do what is right. You know, get people that are always positive around you, not people that are coming into your life to waste your time and then telling you it's a mistake and all that stuff. But in all the same, I know the conversation is still going to continue in, in our various homes and wherever that we'll be watching this. And like we always say, this is Let's Chat Show. It's always the vibe. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Um, we say a big thank you to the people behind the scenes working um, tirelessly to make sure this uh, gets to everybody who is watching us at the moment. Yes, today we were not able to uh, have our own Salasi on the show. She's a bit under the weather and then we're also praying for her for a speedy recovery. And yeah, yeah, we are praying for it. Yeah, we are praying. Better yes. soon, girl. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's going to feel better soon. And then she's going to join us on the next episode that we will be having. So yes, I'm, I'm sure everybody got yourselves entertained. Everybody got, uh, got yourselves informed. Like Abia says, use protection. If you know it's going to be a situation, you just pull out. I don't know what we are pulling out. If it's the a break. Gun, I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> like just as, just as pull, she pull said. Pull the hose out. <laughs> Yeah, no, just cool, cool. exactly. But then, like I said, make sure, make sure you better be sure in making decisions. It's very, 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 very important. And to the guy that sent the message, I want you to sit yourself back and also analyze the issue at this point in time. Nobody can force you into marriage. 
but then for the fact that you have gotten someone impregnated, using the word mistake shouldn't be something that you should use. If it is something that you, you really, uh, maybe love the lady and wants to get married to her, give yourself some time, assess yourself. If it is money that you don't have, sit yourself down, get yourself a job and then be able to cater for the woman, get married to her, take care of the, kid, uh, of the child and then you'll be fine. If it's other things that is also making you feel that, okay, you're not ready and prepared, well, um, like I said, sit yourself back and then do some plus or minus in there. And I'm sure we, we are going to get to a better situation to resolve this issue. Thank you so much for sending the, the, the message as well. And we really appreciate it. Yes, if you are there, you can also send your messages and you want us to discuss on the show. We will be glad to do that as well. Yes, so this is where we wrap up on Let's Chat Show is always a vibe. We love you guys. Thank you so much for staying glued to your sets and watching us all the time. God bless each and every person and we're going to see you on the next episode.